All right, so today we're gonna to show you a tutorial on how to do drawers, but without the animator, we're gonna use scripting to make this work. So where we click on it, it opens a drawer, and when we click on it again, it closes. So we're gonna go over to filebase.gamedevhq.com and we're gonna download Furniture Pack 07. This is 07, so there's a lot of furniture packs in there. You can take a browse and see what you want. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a script called uh, drawer and uh, drawer system and in it we're going to follow the same kind of logic that we did before where we're going to have interact with drawer we're going to have a drawer status if the drawer status is false we're going to uh, in, uh, debug log the drawer status and then invert the status else this is true we're going to invert it as well and then we're also going to run a unity event if it is true so that we know you know it interacts with something let's say spawns in an object or something and if we walk over to the drawer and we click on these you'll notice that if we click on it once it goes false if we click on it twice it goes true and it keeps inverting back and forth perfect the system works next we're going to go over to the drawer and we need to find out what is our movement of the z so when the drawer is closed it's at 0.2 and when it's open it's at 0.5 so we need to create two floats open is equal to 0.5 and closed is going to be equal to 0.2 and that's going to be on the z axis then we're going to do a transform.local position it's a new vector 3 and this should be uh, local position.x, local position.y, and the open or close. Uh, I made a little mistake, so I went back and changed that real quick. It's easy to get local position and position mistaken. So if we walk on over here, this is what it's like when we start it and it's set to close. But when we change the script to open, now all the drawers should be open. So we'll go ahead and press play, take a look at that. And walking up, you'll see that all the drawers are now open. So all we need to do now is make sure that when we are set to open, the status, it's open. If it's closed, it's closed. So every time we click on a drawer, it either is open or closed. This functionality works so far.